Hey guys, what's up? This is Let's Ride USA. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix a leaking carburetor. A leaking carburetor can be a very annoying issue. While the bike will still run, you'll have gas draining out the bottom, which will leave not only a mess, but you'll be losing a ton of gas. So today I'm going to show you how to fix that. So the first step in fixing a leaking carburetor is to understand why it is leaking. And most likely the reason that the carburetor is leaking gas out the overflow tube is because the floats are stuck open. And here are the floats. This is what the inside of your carburetor looks like. This outer white piece right here, that's your float. And when you tap the float, it should bounce up and down. That's how you know you have a healthy float. However, this is a bad float. As you can see, it's very hard to push down and it doesn't rebound quite as good as the healthy float does. So obviously, the way you fix this is to get the float unstuck. So the first way to try to get your carburetor float unstuck, and this is probably the easiest way to do it, is to locate your overflow tube, which is connected to the bottom of the carburetor right there. This is where, if the float valve is stuck open, this is obviously where the gas is draining out. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna remove all the gas from the bottom of that float valve. First, by coming over to the other side of the carburetor. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to turn your gas off. So that way there's no more gas flow to the carburetor. Then you're gonna locate your uh, overflow screw. I think that's what it's called, not too sure, but it's this little screw at the bottom of the carburetor. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is just take a flathead screwdriver and loosen it up all the way. Remember, make sure the gas is off for that. Well, that's gonna do, that's gonna drain out all the gas that's in the bottom of this float ball. And since we cut off the supply of gas to the carburetor, there's not gonna, it's not gonna keep draining out. It's only gonna be what's at the bottom of this float ball. So, like I said, just take a flathead screwdriver, screw it out, let it drain. I recommend having a, uh, a cup or something to catch all the gas coming out the bottom because you don't want the gas going all over the ground. So just put a cup, something in a bottle, uh, to catch the gas in and then when you're done you can either put it back in the bike or you know put it back in your gas tank but that would be the first step next you're gonna want to take some compressed air and just blow it up the um, the drain hose what that compressed air is going to do is hopefully travel up through the line and come in contact with the stuck float and essentially break it free uh, it will most likely remove any dirt or debris that is keeping that float stuck open Hopefully that works, so this is the easiest way to do that. Obviously to check it, all you gotta do is come over to the other side. Don't forget to tighten this uh, overflow screw back up. Turn on the gas and see if it drains out. If the compressed air technique does not work, what you're gonna need to do is take apart the carburetor, clean it, and try to figure out what dirt and debris is uh, keeping that float valve stuck open. Okay, so we have removed the carburetor, we've taken it apart, and we've cleaned it thoroughly. However, it still will not work. As you can see, the problem is not that the carburetor is dirty, because we have obviously cleaned it, and I've tried this in the bike, put the gas on, and it continues to leak gas. And the reason is, is because the float valve has gone bad. Now the float valve, is very easy to get to. You just slide this pin out and the float comes off and that little needle right there, that is the float valve. So all you need to do to replace it is take it out. Actually, we'll just slides out very easily. And then what you're gonna wanna do is get a fresh float valve. Just slide it in and put it back together. As you can see, there's no gas because all this carburetor needed was a fresh float valve to keep it from leaking. All right guys, that's gonna be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative and I hope from this video you have learned how to fix your leaking carburetor and you can get back out on the trail as soon as possible. As always, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.